At the Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst Public Affairs Office, we have received a lot of questions concerning the issue of water quality due to a certain chemical compound that has been found. We have a short video that we hope can explain the issue a little better. Perfluorinated compounds, also known as PFCs, are a family of fluorine containing chemicals with unique properties to make materials heat, stain, and stick resistant. PFCs are found in common items that we come into contact with every day. Manufacturers currently use PFCs to repel oil and water from clothing, carpeting, furniture, and food packaging. PFCs were even used in fast food wrappers as recently as 2007. PFCs are also found in aqueous film forming foam, or AFFF. This is a certain type of firefighting foam that has been used by industry and the Air Force since 1970 to specifically fight petroleum fires. High expansion foams, also used by industry and the Air Force and Department of Defense, are not of concern. The Air Force's past use of AFFF has most recently caused concern at communities near both active and closed Air Force installations. PFCs are considered emerging contaminants because the science is evolving. They do not have cleanup standards, and there is currently uncertainty on the impact of PFCs to human health. The Air Force Civil Engineer Center, or AFCEC, has taken proactive steps to address potential human risks and community concern over PFCs. AFCEC is responsible for the following four items. Awarded a contract to private industry experts to evaluate areas used for firefighter training and crash sites at 39 closed installations to determine the extent of possible PFC environmental release from firefighting foams. Has also awarded a contract to evaluate the areas where environmental releases of AFFF might have occurred at 83 active installations. Is working with other services and regulators to discuss the approach for investigating potential PFC releases and addressing identified exposures. Is working in coordination with state and federal regulators such as the Environmental Protection Agency to identify affected sites and, when necessary, take responsive action. If you have any questions or further concerns, we encourage you to follow the BASE website and social media pages to stay up to date on the latest in this issue. I'm Senior Airman Lauren Russell, Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst, New Jersey.